welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, guys. Today, we're jumping into the brand new Forza Horizon 4 update 33 it includes two brand new cars as well the forza horizon 4 steam edition is coming out tomorrow as well i've got some questions about forza horizon 4 and we've even got some news about the next forza motorsport game real quick though before we do get into this if you do want to see either of these new cars in more detail when they come out, we're going to be checking out some gameplay, the customization, what they're like to drive, and so on. So if you want to see any of that stuff, make sure you subscribe as well. Tomorrow, we're going to be jumping into the Forza Horizon 4 Steam Edition, which should be super cool. Anyways, though, we will come back to that in a second. Let's start this off with those two brand new cars. First of all, this Thursday, you can unlock this thing. The Peugeot 207 Super 2000 by completing an event in the middle of summer. You might recognize this old Peugeot from back in the day. It was actually in Forza Motorsport 2, 3, and 4. Anyways, though, for those of you who don't know, this thing is actually super cool. I know it may not look like it or based off the name, it may not sound like it, but I promise you... The Peugeot 207 is super fast. It actually features a naturally aspirated engine with 280 horsepower. It's got all wheel drive and is super lightweight. I would not at all be surprised to see this thing become super fast when you do get a turbocharger slapped on this engine. Plus, I feel like having proper rally cars like this is always super, super cool. I cannot wait for this thing to come out on Thursday. After the Peugeot 207, in the autumn, we unfortunately have nothing. And then we come to the winter, where for some reason, Forza decided to give us this, the Razor Tachyon. I'm not even joking, the Razor Tachyon can be unlocked by completing 50% in the winter season. That is, that is not a joke. Can I just say as well, I feel like I've done enough events and achieved 50% enough to unlock brand new cars. Maybe we could change it up. Maybe have me play some playground game events, for example, or maybe jump into the Super 7 or the Eliminator, or maybe even let me finally use those backstage passes for some properly exclusive cars that would be super cool no more events no more 50 percent please this is a 1250 electric hypercar built in america out of los angeles it has 3600 foot pounds of torque it is absolutely insane and for some reason the developers gave it to us in the winter. At this point, I honestly think the developers are screwing with us, giving us all these hypercars and supercars in the middle of winter just so we get angry with them. Please, Forza, give us the crazy cars in the summer, please. Anyways, though, like I was saying, this is an amazing vehicle. All electric hypercar. It has six different engines on board. That's why it's got so much torque. It only revs to like three, 4,000 RPM, which is just insane. And it can do 240 miles an hour in real life. In Forza, I wouldn't be surprised if it can go a little bit faster than that. It's got this insane looking interior. The speedometer is like next to you. You've got a camera in front of you. I'm not even joking, it's like a Batmobile that people can buy. People can buy them, they're all sold out, they're super rare, super expensive, so congratulations if you bought one. Also, if you did, could I have a go? Who knows what customization is gonna be featured on the Razor Tachyon? All I know, I'm super excited to get behind the wheel of it and test it out. It's been in the Forza Horizon 4 game files for a very long time. So it's nice that it's finally coming to the game. Moving away from the lack of cars this month, I did want to talk about the Forza Horizon 4 Steam Edition. Because that's truly the big thing that's happening this month. And tomorrow, 
we're gonna be playing it here on the channel. And best of all, I'm gonna be giving a couple of copies of Forza Horizon 4 away to you guys in tomorrow's video. So if you want a chance of winning, make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll have the details in tomorrow's video. I know you guys have had some questions about the Forza Horizon 4 Steam Edition as well, and well, I have some answers for you guys. However, if there are any questions that I don't answer in today's video, please let me know in the comments down below and I will do my best to get you guys some answers for tomorrow's video. Here's some frequently asked questions though. How much is it gonna cost? At this point, we don't actually know. However, the thought process is it's gonna cost the same as the Microsoft Store version. So here in Canada, it costs $80 in the Microsoft Store. It's probably gonna cost that on Steam as well. Will you be able to transfer over your progress from Xbox or PC onto the Steam version? And unfortunately, no, you can't. Regardless of what level you are, how many cars you have, when you jump into the Steam version of Forza Horizon 4, you're gonna be starting from the very beginning, which is kind of fun if you ask me, but I know some people will be disappointed. Yes, there will be crossplay between the Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PC, as well as Steam. Regardless of what platform you're on, you're gonna be able to play with people on whatever platform they're on. Say, for example, you're on your Xbox and I'm on the Steam version, we can still play together, no problem. And yes, you will need a Microsoft account to be able to play the game. So even though you aren't going through the Microsoft store, you still will need a Microsoft account to be able to get into the game, create like a gamer tag and stuff like that. Hopefully those answer a bunch of your guys' questions. Like I said, if you guys do have any more, let me know down below. Final little thing about Forza Horizon. Remember the Forza Horizon 4 Super 7 high stakes that we first heard about in December? Whatever happened with that? Is that still coming soon? I have no idea. We will have to see. Anyways though, last but not least, what about Forza Motorsport? Forza Motorsport 8. Well, fun fact actually, on this month's update, there was supposed to be some news about the next Forza Motorsport game, but unfortunately that got pushed to next month. We don't actually know what they were gonna showcase, whether it was gonna be the new engine, the new physics, the new tires, maybe even some screenshots or trailers or teasers. We have no idea. However, fingers crossed we will see that next month and we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Subscribe if you want to see that. So there you go. That is everything going on in the world of Forza this month. Forza Horizon 4 updates, Forza Horizon 4 on Steam, and as well the next Forza Motorsport game. It's a really, really cool month. Should be exciting. Subscribe if you want to see any of the future stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!